Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church Manila and I just wanted to make a video regarding Roman Catholicism and what I want to talk to you about in this video is how the Roman Catholic Church evolved from the Roman Empire and Roman Paganism. And there are many different ways that you can show this and many different ways that you can prove this, but I want to just highlight three major ways in which we can see that the Roman Catholic Church was not a new church that started in the 4th century AD. They're actually just the same false religion of Roman paganism with a tad bit of Christianity mixed in. One major way is when you look at the issue of sexual perversion, sodomy, pedophilia, etc. that has always, always existed in the Roman Catholic Church. A false idea that people have is that this sexual perversion amongst the priests is something that's just occurring in today's world, but you can look at writings over these last 1700 years and even before that where it talks about the, the pedophilia and sexual perversion. And so it's not not just something that we're dealing with in today's world, but you can go back to a thousand years ago when the Book of Gomorrah was written as it's translated, where it really talked about the sexual perversion amongst the Roman Catholic Church, amongst the priests especially, and the clergy. And it's something that's always existed, but you can go back to when they were founded in the 4th century AD. And what you need to understand is that the Roman Empire, one of the big things that led to their downfall was pedophilia, was sexual perversion, was homosexuality. It was very common and prevalent when you look at the Roman Empire. And what you see is that the Roman Catholic Church dealt with the same thing because it was not some new religion. In the 4th century AD, there was the Council of Elvira in 305 and 306 AD. It mainly talked about the sexual perversion, especially amongst religious leaders. In 314 AD, there's the Council of Ancyra, which mainly talked about sexual perversion amongst the clergy. And this was right around when the Roman Catholic Church was started, but you can look at writings that came after that and before, and from the very beginning, they knew they had a big problem with sexual perversion, especially amongst the powerful clergy who had a lot of money, because many of them had young boys as their slaves. That's something that Martin Luther wrote about and you say where did this come from you know what part of the Bible are they using why did this why did what, why did they start this with the start of their religion well it was really just the Roman Empire morphed into the Roman Catholic Church so basically nothing changed it wasn't something new it was something that was existing before the fourth century AD and it was existing after and even in today's world as well another way you can see that the Roman Catholic Church is just the Roman Empire and Roman paganism with a little bit of Christianity mixed in is when you look at the bloodshed and the murders and the tortures from the Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic Church is responsible for tens of millions of murders and many other people that were tortured but not killed. Now it is very, very hard to get an accurate number of how many people the Roman Catholic Church killed because quite simply, if you were to write anything against the Roman Catholic Church in history, you could have been murdered or tortured yourself. So it's very hard to get an accurate amount, but if you know anything about history, you're going to know that the Roman Catholic Church persecuted and killed anyone who disagreed with them. You say, where did they, they get that from? They got it from the Roman Empire. Because the Roman Empire, before the founding of the Roman Catholic Church, they were murdering and killing Christians. And so this is not something new that came after the 4th century AD, it was something that existed before the 4th century AD as the Roman Empire killed anyone and tortured anyone who disagreed with them and the Roman Catholic Church did the same thing because it is just the Roman Empire or Roman paganism with a tad bit of Christianity mixed in. The last way, thing I want to talk to you about is the Roman gods. You say, but the Roman Empire was famous for Roman gods and the Catholic religion teaches that there's only one God. But yet, when you look all throughout the Philippines or other countries, you see these giant 50 foot tall idols of St. Peter and St. Paul and of Padre Pio and of all these different people. And this is basically the Roman gods in today's world. You say, where are they getting this part of the Bible where we should have these giant statues and idols? Well, it's not something new that started. It started before the founding of the Roman Catholic Church as the Roman Empire was famous for having gods that they would expect people to worship and the, the Roman Catholic Church has done the same thing they just changed it from being gods to being saints 
and yet you still see the Roman Catholic Church telling you to pray to these saints and things such as that. They are basically the Roman gods in today's world. And so a lot of people have this misunderstanding that the Roman Catholic Church was a new religion and Constantine really became a, a, a Christian in the 4th century AD and it was some new religion. In reality, it's just the Roman Empire and Roman paganism changed a tad little bit. Because you can look at the sexual perversion that existed in the Roman Empire and the Roman Catholic Church. You can look at the bloodshed that existed in the Roman Empire and the Roman Catholic Church. Or you could look at the, the gods versus the saints that existed in the Roman Empire and in the Roman Catholic Church. And what you see is that the Roman Catholic Church simply evolved out of Roman paganism. Thank you and God bless.